Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And as you see in the title of this video, yes, we did it. If there's anything to bring up, first and foremost, smoke is absolute trash. It is absolute dog water. It does not work. I don't care who you are. You can argue with me all day long. The bots can still shoot through it no matter where on the map you are. So that's why we are actually being a little bit more aggressive with our stratagems. We're using the pods as well as the laser. And just in case we get in a tight situation, we will equip the jetpack. As also, you need to equip the EMS Mortar Sentry just to slow some of them down that are in the area, as well as the stamina boost. As you see, the armor I have gives you two extra stem because as you can know by the bots by now and watching this, the bots cause you to stem a lot. If there's anything about this mode to pretty much sum it up, we will be on our knees more than Monica Lewinsky at a presidential reunion. Yep, I said it. This requires you to pretty much be snailing, leaving a snail trail the whole entire way. So let's spawn in, and as you can see, we already have a patrol on us, not literally 0.1 seconds into this. But let's just try to run the opposite way, or just head toward this first objective. So right off the bat, you're going to need to call in a laser. Lasers are super effective, believe it or not, in this, because it actually does not alert the surrounding bots, believe it or not. Besides the ones we've alerted, the other ones on the other side have not engaged. So this is super great, and considering you need three, one for the first one, another for the second uplink, and the third one for the last objective. As you see here, it pretty much cleans it all out, like literally. So right now we're just going to head up to this first little thing majig at the terminal and go ahead and activate it as well as get down. So now we have here, it's loading up, and I see behind us we actually have an aircraft spawner. So now that's loading up, part one. Let's go ahead and hit this next phase, get back down, and then let's go ahead and put this SSD inside of this. See, as you see, we do not have any more bot drops or any bots engaging right now. So now we're going to run back over here and then finish off the last of this. So we're on a pretty good start right now, believe it or not. So go ahead and go ahead and fix on the right side and adjust the left side. Let's see, 99. Yep. And I believe that should wrap it up. Let's see. I drop anything over here? No, I did not. All right, and see now we have some bots spawning in because we are actually finishing up this objective, which they do spawn in whether you like it or not. So now let's go ahead and then finish this. All right, so now that's pretty much done. So we can either A, try to crawl the way, but because we're kind of on a time constraint and I do not want to spend the rest of the 37 minutes crawling, we're just going to go ahead and then activate this jetpack. It's going to alert Tom, Dick, and Harry, but like I said, you've got to do what you got to do to get to the next part. So let's run over. So just fly over that guy. I'm not going to engage with him. I usually run the lightweight vest or the lightweight armor because I have 20% you know, more of a susceptibility to not be detected, but because we are going to run into a ton of bots, definitely this extra two stems makes a game changer. So instead of traditionally just calling in a supply drop every time, I pretty much have just been going off the extra two when spawned by default. As you see here, they, they're they just not stopping. <laughs> That's one thing that makes this mission so frustrating or just the bots doing the solo. You will have gunfire from every direction. Every direction, including the sky. So that's pretty much the objective now is to just do whatever we can, find every single rock we can, and just dive. Dive and stem right now, pretty much. At least until we can get away from this factory. But let's keep trying to chug along. Let's stem this last one we have. Fingers crossed we get through this. Let's see. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> and as you can basically see, unless you really have a weapon that you constantly have to have or some back bling that you just really have to have all the time, it's really not practical or feasible to even equip it because 
you are going to be running and dying so you really won't have enough time to run back to your corpse rather it's just more of a die and then whenever you do respawn direct your hell pod in the direction towards the ne next objective because that's pretty much what you have to do you just have to just keep moving forward if you drop something you just have to leave it behind and judging by the cooldown you really it's not really worth wasting a whole stratagem spot in order to actually try to put yourself in the mission so right now like i said we're calling in this ssd our laser should be up pretty soon i don't think some of them have detected us yet since we did spawn our hell pod away let's go ahead and just do this one go ahead and go back down let's see phase two now let's go ahead and insert this i think they're already yep they're already on us again let's just run up here Jesus. All right. Stem back up and pick this baby up. All right. So the laser should be done here pretty soon, judging by timing. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. So we can pop him maybe one more time. Or not. Hold up. Let's go ahead and scale this. Jesus. Come on. Let's do it. Almost. Come on, get back up. Oh, All right, we're going to get this come high or hell water. So let's go ahead and spawn literally right back where we were. And now our laser's coming up. So let's go ahead and toss this in because, like I said, the laser is actually amazing against bots. It does not alert the surrounding bots. So if you really want to be stealth and clean everything out without making too much of a ruckus, definitely equip the laser. Especially for stealth. So now that's coming up. Let's go ahead and finish this bad boy off. Which is one one directional button. Let's go. Come on. Just need one more. Alright. Come on. Oh my god. This aircraft is so annoying. Alright. Ooh, ooh, let's get out of here. Alright. Let's hop this fence. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right, let's, let's run around to this side. Oh, I thought it was ISR for a minute, but it's just another aircraft. This might kill us on spot. I, yep. <laughs> That's pretty much all you can expect from those. And as far as shooting them down, it's not really practical. So you just have to literally, like I said earlier, keep dying and then moving your hell pod in the next direction. All right, so we are far enough forward. They actually do not see us or any of the surrounding bots. So right now we're pretty much going to crawl, but we're not going to crawl the entire way, only around spots that there are high patrol numbers, such as you see up here to the right, we do have a base. So now that we've crawled up this way, we're going to try to get the rest of these bots' distraction to the opposite direction. So as you see on our map, we do have a pretty good bit of them here in front of us, and we do have some to the right. So the goal right now is to probably go chuck a grenade over here, and that should draw the attention of some that way. So once that does explode and we do see some go that side, then we're going to start crawling here to the right, because that's pretty much the way we have to go. Let's see, we do have one on us. We can just quickly sprint across, not alerting the rest of them. We do have a base on our right as well. I don't think the one behind us, yeah, he stopped. All right, so let's immediately go back on the ground. All right, so he's not alerted. And then we have some here to our right. We definitely have to be very careful because we also have some up here to the left by a POI. So right now we're just literally just going to keep snaking along. And we do have some behind us that are alerted, so we're just going to have to just trek it along. And then by the will of God, just try to just keep diving and stimming. Alright, so we did get past that base and that um, POI at the top. Let's see, let's go ahead and throw rocket pods back that way. That should dispose of the big one that keeps shooting at us. I think it's like the Scout Strider, or Strider Scout, whatever you want to call it. So now we have the airport coming up on us, thank the lord. So now, let's see, let's call in another rocket pod. Oh my god, we have two aircraft. This is probably going to be an L, because you cannot get away from two aircraft. But we can use this to a plus by spawning in on the other end of the airport, so that will help us as far as strategy goes. 
All right, so let's just keep driving along. So another pod out. It might get one of those aircraft. Nope, it did not. All right, so we're going to, like I said, use our respawn to our advantage. So as you see here, we're going to land right behind this uh, control tower. I have to call it a control tower. And just go immediately go prone. So as you can see, they are still on that side, captured by all of that noise and gunfire. So now we're just going to keep snaking along. So as I said earlier, how clutch the orbital laser is, pretty much we're gonna throw one here and clean out these bots. That way we can go ahead and activate the terminal and this will not alert any of the surrounding bots, which is actually freaking amazing. So as that goes to work, they were probably going to get back up. So here we go. All right. Where's this terminal? All right, it's up here to the left. All right, so while that goes to work and gets all those bots out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start this process. All right, so we do this, left, right, left, down. Okay. This is what E3. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. And then now let's go ahead and evacuate these bad boys and get out of Dodge. So as you see here, the laser literally cleaned out all of these guys. So now what we're going to do is just start the first door. I don't see any others back here yet. So we're going to just seize this moment while we can until at least some scouts just come back and just replace the other ones that just died. So you see here, we don't have any others coming in. But just to be safe, because I do remember seeing some by the entrance, we are going to crawl over here. Let's go ahead and activate that one. All right, let's go ahead and sprint back this way and then just literally go back and forth because like I said earlier, I never appreciated the laser because it was only three you know, uses until honestly doing this mission. As you see that guy right there, I don't think he saw us. Let's see. So let's go right back over to the next one. He does see them though. As long as he sees them and not us, we won't get any more bot drops. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to really get down now. Because they are going that way. Let's go ahead and really watch what we do. Because that's the last thing we need right now is a bot drop. Let's go ahead go around the back side. Okay, so they are just going after them. Let's get rid of that one. Yep, like I said. Bot drops, whenever we kill them and they come after us, they come. But when it's just the civilians, nah. But we're gonna just call that these people in anyway because there's always a, you know, a chance that at least one of the three will continue to give us progress. So that's what we're gonna do. But in the meantime, while we do have this drop come in and we, and we do not have the surrounding one spawned, we are just going to distract them and then as far as they go, pull them out of the base. So it's gonna run around this back side. Let's see, are they alerted? No. All right. Let's see if they actually will lose us. No way he knew I was there. <laughs> All right, so that one's out. Or effectively, let's just run down to the beach because I really do not want to have another bot drop inside of the base. Yeah, so this should effectively draw them out. See, are they coming on this side? I don't think that there's any in front of us. All right, where's the rest of these? So they are starting to come out on the map. As you do see, they are leaving the center of the base. So that is when we are going to make our move and then go in the opposite side. See, yeah, we do see three right there. So let's quickly, 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 quickly come along. All right, let's see, we got oh, some of those in there. We do have our rocket pods though. Let's go ahead and launch these bad boys. It will draw them effectively our way and then blow them up in the process. All right, let's see, two, one. All right, let's throw that. Oh my God, I thought those were going in. All right, let's come back out this way. All right, yeah, they are not. <laughs> 
Do they ever reload, honestly? Alright, so those guys are out. Oh gosh, now we have those guys' attention. Alright, so we're going to run along on this side. Jesus Christ. Scout Strider, yeah, I had a feeling one of those three are going to come after us. Let's go ahead, spawn back this way, and then try to lose them. Alright, so let's run on this side. And we do have no more respawns, so we really have to tread water carefully on this one. Let's go ahead and call it AirPod, not AirPod, <laughs> Rocket Pod in. Alright, so they did- oh, nope, I thought they lost us. Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and dispose of these then. So that bad boy's out. So we can get around this corner before he shoots us. Alright, so that one's out. And that should be the- I thought that'd be the last of that convoy. Alright, so that one's there. Alright, so now we're going to go back to what we did. Let's go ahead and just go prone again. These guys shouldn't see us. We have, what, 50 seconds left for our re reinforcement. Alright, so let's chill here. I don't think this bot actually sees us. Let's see. Ah, he does. Alright, cover's blown. So let's run around this side before we alert the rest of them. Alright, now let's go back prone. All right, you see we do have some of those on that side going out, so that's clutch. That's exactly what we want to do right now. And then now we're going to make our way over to the very next one without alerting the rest of them on the surrounding sides. All right, so now we have that convoy to the left with scout striders, and they do not see us, so we are going to continue to call these in. Let's go ahead and crouch, open this door up. Immediately run back this way Because we have a whole squad of them coming to the left. So the goal is right here Let's just try to go behind this box generator Whatever you want to call it thingy majiggy and that should get the attention of those bots right there And just draw them on the opposite side because when they're shooting at those um, civilians Effectively some of their shots will miss and will cause a distraction on the other side of the base Effectively putting all the other bots towards that area. So that's pretty much what we're going to do right here is just Really just play upon I guess you could say their inaccuracies when it comes to firing So that's really what we're going to do right here as you see we do have some more coming in So let's go ahead and just chill right here until some of them do come over Let's go ahead and call that button in. They're effectively just going to crawl right back where we were because we do not want to be obviously seen again because that really took a bunch of time off the clock just trying to really calm the area down. Do so you see them still missing and you're still going to see them go the other direction. So that's really what we're going to play on right now. So let's wait on them to pass through. As you see, they're still going to the other side of the base. Alright, so now we're going to effectively just... Mm, should we... Yeah, we'll go. Let's go ahead and hit this button again. I don't think that... I'm trying to see if they're going to go back... Or that they're turning around. Alright. Yeah, that should permit us to just go ahead and call. Nope, we do have some more. Alright, what is that, guys? Is he just going to sit? No, they're just going outside of the base. Alright, so this is... Mm, yeah, we'll go ahead and call this next one in. I know we have some bots to our right. I don't think they'll see us, though. This next button. We just need eight more. So let's crawl back on this side. Those guys, I think all, yeah, all three of them should make it in. I don't think they're alerting any more of those bots. So let's just go ahead and go for the next one again. Let's get greedy. Although I don't, oh yeah, we do have to wait on the button. All right, let's go back. Yep, there it is. 
All right, so just two more button hits and then we are out of this. All right, so we got 25, 26, 27, 28, and then now, let's see, do they have any more bots here? Just wait on this button to come before we get too ahead of ourselves. All right, so the button is ready to go. Let's just go ahead and crawl our way back over. Yeah, this should put the nail in the coffin. If there's anything, honestly, I think that is a pretty much essential to have is the orbital laser, because like I said earlier, I will just continue to also restate it again. I thought this, I thought the laser was okay, not great, but for this type of mission, it is the heart because it essentially, you know, clears out wherever you want it without alerting the rest of Tom, Dick and Harry and the rest of the bots and calling in bot drops. To me, that is the most insane thing, like how they cannot hear or just see that giant laser from the sky and then not be alarmed by it, but it is what it is. And so now we're going to attempt to extract hopefully the timer isn't like three four minutes but we're pretty yeah we're pretty much just gonna keep on crawling all right now i think we should be safe from the squad to our left there's a good bit there's like a good nine or ten right there let's see oh nope there whoa did not see those there all right we definitely gotta get out <laughs> this might be the end of it Oh my god, they just called a flare in too. And we're just trying to extract. We have a oh my god, we have a two bases right beside us too for extraction. Let's go just call in this mortar sentry and just at least get you know some of them slowed. Let's, yeah, let's go. Trying to see which side. So we do have those guys there. And we do have these guys on our left. Hope. Maybe the mortar actually might distract these guys. It should. This should allow us to essentially crawl right. Oh, are they shooting at us? Shit. Actually, no. All right. So we're going to play off of our mortar century. Okay. Yeah, they, we should skate by this. All right, so now we're going to call extraction in after literally crawling for what felt like an hour. <laughs> All right, since we don't have any bots here, we might, although I don't know. I think they're actually going to come up to here, like regardless. We do have one respawn though, so we might do what I like to do at missions that are kind of really congested at the end, is try to outlast it, or just get like somewhere like where I can just, you know, draw some time out, and then just respawn inside the pelican. So let's see, we got what, three sims left. All right, they are starting to come up here, but we might be able to just draw their attention away. Let's just see. Yeah, I don't see, although we are in range of enemy artillery, so this might be a problem. Let's see, I don't think any are coming around, though. Yeah, we should be good at least right here. And then we have some behind us. Yeah, I don't... Oh my god, what was that? Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can spawn on top of this rock. This should make us safe from a lot of rockets. Let's go ahead and come up here. Let's go ahead and prone down. We should be... What? <laughs> okay, this is... This might be it. Hold up. Oh my god, wait, we got some around that side. Let's see if we can one-shot this bad boy. What? Okay, well, <laughs> we were close. We had like 32 seconds to extraction, but either way, this is the best strategy out of many, 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 many hours of trying to get this done, especially because there hasn't been anyone, at least from my knowledge, when posting this, has been able to do it. 
I genuinely thought before actually doing this that this mission was dadgum near impossible solo and you would have to have at least two people to do it as far as to draw away enemies, but I am going to see how this does apply to the re extracting 50 on the bots, so be sure to stay tuned for that video because that one is pretty much like this except a little bit more congested. So we're going to try this method on that one. So thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one.